Hello darlings, for today's video I'll be creating a 4th of July makeup look using affordable products. To start, I'm filling in my brows with this Perfusion pencil that comes in the brows palette. I'm then brushing through my brows to blend out the product and cleaning up the edges with some NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer in the shade Pale. This shade is quite light, so to avoid any halo effect around the edge of my brow, I'm just dragging it up into my forehead area so that it's nice and blended and it won't be noticeable once I apply my foundation. I'm also using this concealer as my eyeshadow primer, so I'm dragging this onto my lid space as well and tapping it in with a mini Real Technique sponge. For eyeshadow, I'm using the James Charles palette from Morphe. This has a really great matte red shade called You're Kidding, which I'm applying in my crease from outer to inner corner using the M506 brush. Once I've packed that shade on, I'm going in with the M562 brush and using small circular motions to blend out the edge of that red. When blending, I'm holding the brush towards the end of the brush handle, making sure that I apply a very small amount of pressure. Now I'm packing on more red in the crease because as you can see, it lost a bit of its pigmentation from the blending process. I'm then swapping my brush back and forth in order to blend out that bit of product we just placed. Now to blend some more, I'm grabbing a big, clean, fluffy brush and gently sweeping it over the outer edge of the shadow so that it seamlessly blends into my skin. Next, I'm cutting my crease using the same NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer and of course, the JH42 brush. To create a half cut crease, I'm first placing my brush at my inner corner and then rounding it into the crease, stopping once I get about three fourths of the way across my eyelid. I'm now tapping my finger on my outer V where the edge of the concealer meets the shadow to blend the two together. Next, I'm filling in the space we cut out with the white shade called Flashback. Now to blend that white with the shadow in the outer V, I'm taking the brush that I used to apply the red shade and sweeping it in towards the white. I'm going to be creating a glitter wing for this look, but first I want to map out the shape so that I can easily place the glitter on top. First, I'm applying the NYX White Liquid Liner and lining my lash line, and then I'm dragging it out to create a wing. Now 
Next, I'm tapping some NYX Glitter Primer onto the liner and then dipping into the Glitter Realm Majestic palette and placing the deep blue glitter onto the liner. Once I've applied the glitter to be as dense as possible, I'm adding some City Color Fierce Lashes Mascara and popping on some falsies. I'm also tightlining with the Profusion Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil, which helps your false lashes look more like your real lashes. After that, it's time for face makeup. I'm priming with the City Color Primer Oil and also minimizing the appearance of my pores by pushing their classic primer into the skin on the center of my face near my nose. For foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in the shade 201. I'm blending this in by pouncing, or rather stippling, a damp Real Technique sponge onto my skin and making sure that I blend the foundation down onto my neck as well. To contour, I'm first taking this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Warm Caramel and placing it sparingly onto the areas I want to add definition to, such as the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, jawline, and sides of the bridge of my nose. I'm blending this cream contour with the Morphe GH08 brush and then applying concealer under my eyes into the areas I want to draw attention to, like my nose, forehead, and chin. I'm using a mini Real Technique sponge to blend that in and then setting my face with the matte beige shade from the Profusion Sculpt and Glow palette. I like to first set my under eyes with a sponge and then the rest of my face with the GH01 brush. Now to top off my contour, I'm adding some of the light contour shade from that same Sculpting Glow palette, and since my hair is in a ponytail, I'm really bringing this up into my hairline this time. Sticking to that same Profusion palette, I'm picking up the highlighter shade called Glazed and applying this to the high points of my face, especially the top of my cheekbones. Now for blush, I'm using the shade Alive from the Profusion Blush palette and after setting my face with the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist, I'm going back to my eyes. For my lower lash line, I'm applying the same red shade from the Morphe James Charles palette, and for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm using the shade Ring Light. I'm then quickly blending that highlight near my brow bone with the M562 brush, adding some NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk to my waterline, and applying mascara to my bottom lashes. Finally, for lips, I'm using the Pixi Matte Last Liquid Lipstick in Real Red, which is my favorite liquid lipstick formula. And then to be extra patriotic, I'm sticking some star facials onto the highest points of my cheekbones. And that completes this 4th of July look. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.